this topic that I want to talk to you about, right? This has been a saga over three days of me remembering to say this, right? Because I had this thought when I was about to go to sleep, right? And I knew, normally what I do is I'll write it down in my notes app. And I knew that if I did that, because I was I was asleep, like I, I wasn't asleep, duh. I was like, I'd put my phone down, like I'd, I'd, I'd ended the night, right? And if I put my phone back up, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, like I'm staying on it for another like 40 minutes. You can't even just type a quick note. No. Um, because the, the light goes, and I, I'd, I'd, I'd like put my phone down like 15 minutes ago. Okay, that makes so, sense. So like I was like really mellowing out. Mm. Um, and so I asked my Alexa, to remind me of this that's quite smart yeah um <laughs> she didn't see it that way she was like first of all she said it at max volume at one o'clock in the morning she went setting a reminder for monday night and i was like alexa stop <laughs> so that happened and then she reminded me at 12 o'clock this morning when i meant at 12 p.m so okay. this morning i was woken up by this reminder <laughs> And then when it happened, I I was had had the presence of mind to write, say right, I'm going to put it in my my notes app so I remember it because I'm genuinely so intrigued by this. Okay. And now we're on the subject. Mm -hmm. I hope this is going to be good. <laughs> I don't understand phrases that I know what they mean in context, but if somebody asked me to explain it to you, I would have absolutely no idea. I can think of what you're thinking, but not an example. By the way. I know exactly what it means when someone says it to me, but if someone asks me to explain why those three words mean that, no idea. By the way. I think the mask for the windows up is really loud. Sorry guys. Mm. I think it's, you know when people say like, by the wayside. So I think the way I would explain it is saying like, by the way, it's like, it's, it's contextual information that you want to give, but it's like by the wayside of what you were saying. Yeah. So it's like, you're changing the topic. It's, it's, I'll be, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to meet up with you at 10, but I'm going to go to the shop on the way. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna meet up with you at 10. But by the way, I'm going to the shop first. Yeah. So like by the wayside, like as a little detour from the conversation and from what you're doing. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I get what you mean though. It's, it's really hard to explain that. Cause well, I, like, I, know, I know it as soon, like as soon as someone said it to me or I read it, I, knew, I know exactly what it means mm. in, in context. Because what, what reminded me of this is I was reading through messages from someone and they said, happy birthday, by the way. But there were no pre there was not there was no previous conversation. So yeah, in that context wrong. it didn't actually really make sense. <laughs> what is this person like? Are they thick? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the Olympics and you had to choose one of the sports, what would you choose? In my in my current state now trying to win a trying to win a medal. Shot put. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'd be quite. Or good javelin. At that. I think, I think, oh, I think javelin. You'd be really good at that, actually. I set. I, I didn't set a record at my school, but I got close. Really? Yeah. I won shot put. Really? <laughs> yeah. Good at throwing. <laughs> We're good at launching objects across the field. We can't play catch. <laughs> Not that you'd want to catch a javelin or a shot put. Imagine trying to catch a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Just shot put. I think a javelin would be easier. I'm not on a tiny little cannonball being launched at you by <laughs> by you. <laughs> Imagine how sick it would be though if like javelin catching was like catching and throwing was a thing and like your signature move, right? Like we're a pair and like our signature move is going like that and going wham and catching it like that. That way. Yeah. So you like go, it, it's coming at you and then you like move your shoulder and you go bang and you catch it and then but, you just launch it back no no but you have like you know in the gymnastics on the floor when they're like between each pass they do the little like yeah. <laughs> into the corner you do that and you do like a little jedi wave 
and then you throw it back. Yeah. And so each time you catch it, you'd have like a different routine and like maybe under the lap got quite hard, but <laughs> under the leg, like round the head. I'd, and I'd, then you go for the like round back. Yeah. I'd put it on my shoulders and then like spin it and catch it. Oh God. Oh! That would be so cool. <laughs> and I feel like we could just practice with a pool cue. Yeah. To get good at it and then maybe just stick some like bread knives on the end. Yeah, just sharp, add, add a bit of sharpness. Yeah. Or just shape. Maybe we just get rid of the javelin and just shave down a pool cue. Pool cue is shot in the middle. <laughs> pool cue shot javelin. Oh, yeah. So you like launch it, do your little twirl, pot a ball, throw it back. But the ball is a, is a, is a shot put. It's a shot put. So it's like you got to put some force in it. But then it's kind of, <laughs> then turns into like. No, but then the shot put goes back to bowls. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> curling. <laughs> it's, like cur it's like bowls and then curling. Yeah. But you could do it backwards, like, like, put the shot put, and then there's like bowling pins. Jackpool bowl, Jackpool bowl. What's your sport? Yeah, I want a gold melon Jackpool bowling. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd live a glorious life. I would be so full of myself if I played Jackpool bowl and won. Yeah. If we, if we, if We'd we won gold in that. We would be sick at that. I'm telling you, I would get the artistic points on like the little, yeah, like abracadabra of it. How would it be scored? I feel like length. So like length of the shot, mm, distance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, distance of the of the throw. And then, like, how many pins go down? Mm -hmm. And then, like, artistic artistic points so, on, like, like... distance, accuracy, and creativity. Yeah. Or, like, execution. Execution overall, points for the pins. Would we want to put it to music? Absolutely, we would want to put it to music. Yeah. Imagine the satisfaction. You launch it, right? You do your little jazzy thing. You launch it. I catch it. I do my little jazzy thing and pop. Um, the shot put, but wait, where's the pool bit gone? Well, you put you put it on the pool table. But then where are the bowling pins? On the end of the pool table. Yeah. Uh, but then there's no really point in having a pool table. No, because you put you you like doing the shot of like a because you have to push it with the with the javelin. So okay. that's the pool aspect. Okay, I get you. I get you. But you've got to, like, but, fucking hoy it because um, it's heavy. Imagine doing that to music. I saw a really interesting fact today. <laughs> Apparently, if you listen to three songs on repeat when you run, so if you run every morning, you have a coffee before you go. No, but this it gets you into it, apparently. I'm sweating. Um, it's warm. Um, but <laughs> really warm. Apparently, it's just really thick, too. Apparently, I guess you... If you want, if you want, <laughs> per se, if one were to want to take up the per se, <laughs> per se, you said per se. <laughs> I did not said per se. Well, fine, watch it back. The other day, you said you blinked and you didn't. You went, I went like this, and I looked at the video. You didn't do that. <laughs> For a false blink. <laughs> no, I just looked at it. I never told you, did I? <laughs> um, what was I doing? Three songs in. You've only with your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Coffee before. Shit myself. Per se. Another of those sayings that you were saying. How would you explain per se? Person as, says? As per one. As per. As per one say? Mm. As one person. <laughs> <laughs> per person. <laughs> Says. As one person would say, how has that been shortened to per, per se? se? <laughs> Maybe it's like per sentence. As per as per previous speech. Yeah, but per se. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you would think it was like as one would say. Where does the per? Because <laughs> as one person. Fuck it, right. If you wanted to take up the running, if you wanted to try running, mm -hmm. I saw a woman who said, you know, wake up in the morning. Feel Feeling like, like me, Jizzy. <laughs> yeah. Is that it was P. Diddy? Jizzy. 
Sana nakahog! <laughs> if you wanted to take up running, apparently if you make a playlist of three songs that you like, mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning, you have a coffee, and you have the desire to run, you walk through the verses and you run for the chorus for those three songs. And oh. apparently if you do it for a week, by the end of the week or the start of the next one, you can run for all three songs. Wow. So it's like couch to 5K, but not shit. Yeah. But you also hate the songs because then you get conditioned to hating the songs. Like an alarm. Mm. My alarm. Bro, <laughs> that fucking minion alarm. <laughs> I shat myself. I'm going to say that minion alarm. I'm going to set it so you can hear how horrible it was. I don't understand why you acquired this. I don't, I like either. No, neither. <laughs> no, neither of me. <laughs> um. <laughs> do, 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 you set it for? I'm not sleeping at your house. A minute! <laughs> A minute for the minion. Why have you got a minion saying book it out of my car? I should have alarm. <laughs> because I honestly have no idea, but I was lying in a very in a dark room with my phone here because I was on TikTok <laughs> and then it just went book it out of my car! <laughs> From. I must have bought it. Like <laughs> the name of it My is Flying was like, ring, Minion. Ding 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 ding. I bought one of those um like individual razors. Yeah. Because I wanted to like shape my eyebrows. And I was doing it and I think I've like cut the tail off my eyebrow. Maybe maybe I should get an eyebrow slit. I don't know if it really goes with the vibe that you've been creating recently. You've got very like clean girl aesthetic going on. I don't think an eyebrow slit's going to contribute to that. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You know those people that do like the videos and they like sneeze and they do and they like cut it and then they like cut out their hair like the guys. What's the sneezing got to do with it? Because it's one of those like like oh that's the transition yeah so basically they've blown so much air out of their nose it's cut their eyebrow <laughs> and they've given them tram lines <laughs> no the like the the barber will stand there with the razor and then they'll do like a sneeze and like move their head forward and the guy will keep the razor in the same place so it like goes in a straight line oh well actually actually it's yeah. not a transition no yeah are you sure i'm pretty sure maybe it was just a very clean transition Maybe. Is but... that accurate to go? <clears throat> no, because like if you put something there and like apply a certain amount of pressure and then I move my head forward. How do they make them sneeze and then like put a feather under their nose or something? I think the sneeze might have been fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it in high pollen count. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just blowing pepper in your face. <laughs> like a magician. Ah, poof. <laughs> What's that scene from. Um... White chicks. She goes, your mama's so old, her breast milk looks like this. <laughs> Just blows flour at her. <laughs> I really like those people that have been doing like, it's usually the, what's the first one? You know, you know a wedding, <laughs> not the bride, the first one. Like the female equivalent of best man. The maid of honor. Yeah. When she's like waited so long for them to, to, to get married. <sighs> that she like opens the vows and goes Whew, and like blows the dust off it yeah that's clever that is funny that did you did you know that actually a maid of honor would you look so like regal <laughs> you are I'm scratching my leg <laughs> um the it's called a maid of honor if they're unmarried but it's a matron of honor if they're married <laughs> You said 
adult for me. <laughs> Air matron. If one of us like gets married before the other one and we're like each other's maid of honor, <laughs> then one of us has got to do that during the ceremony. <laughs> Want to shout out to our matron of honor. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I need to get me a small read. Oh. <laughs> did your, um, I was gonna ask, did your, like, mum ever do, like, if you were, like, on a, like, a road trip? And, like, my dad always used to do it. And I always see it on TikTok, like, dads always, like, make a, like, fist somehow. And then they, like, put their hand back to get treats off you when you, like, open a bag of sweets or something. I mean, my mum did that, but she just literally went like this because I don't really know why else you would- Why would you make a fist if you're trying to ask for something? Can I please have one of those? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got a hole in it! Couldn't they just- My mum- No, because like, say if I've got Skittles, you fill it up, and then they're not gonna fall out, because like, you don't want to be like, fucking- Yeah, you just- Steadiness of a. What's a steadiness? Steady. <laughs> I just don't understand how it's not computer. Let me get in the back. <laughs> right, I'm driving along, like, there's loads of cars, it's really, really busy, and I hear that you've opened sweets, right? And I'm gonna go like this, and you're gonna fill it with Mate, sweeties. If I put skills <laughs> in that, they're coming straight out the other side. And then I bring it forward. My also... dad's got bigger hands than me. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You've still got the same mechanism. <laughs> he did it better, but he used to create a little pot. Oh, uh, do, pass me. Pass me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I you, suppose... made, you, yeah, you, you didn't make a, um, a fist, you made a shoot. <laughs> I suppose I never really kind of thought of the act of like closing it before you bring it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. It was close. But... I've never really thought of the act of closing your hand before you brought it back. Ah! I, I always thought that people would bring it back like a plate. <laughs> no, if, you, if you're like steady enough. Then where did you get the fist from? My Today I was thinking, I was like, oh. Tomorrow's going to be a really nice sunny day. I'm going to go out. I'm going to make most of it. I'm going to have a picnic by myself and I'm going to read a book. Why the fuck did I assume that I would do that? Because I'm clearly not going to do that. I'm, I'm obviously not. I'm, I'm selling myself a dream. Like I'm going to take a book out to a park. <laughs> I went to sleep last night and was like, I'm going to go for a walk on my lunch break. I just ate so much pasta on my lunch yeah, break. I, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I don't know, I was like, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to take up a new hobby every week. I was watching the skateboarding on the Olympics. I was like, I could fucking do that. No, you couldn't. Get out of bed. I think one of my favourite stories you ever told me is when I was going to skateboard. When I had a skateboard, rather than actually learning to skateboard, I just took it with me to you need to look cool. <laughs> I don't think I actually did it in the end. Yes, you did. You sent me a photo. Did I? Oh. Fucking vibes. It was so good. I did try and skateboard when I was like 15 and I tried to do an ollie and I fell off and hit my head on the floor. Oof. I do. I, but it would be cool to learn a new hobby every week. Like I, I reckon within... Because... <laughs> so cool. Because I was really thinking about it. Every hobby I've ever had in my life I've given up. Or like just not wanted to do it anymore. Like dancing, rugby, um, literally everything. Like paying shoes, playing chess. Every hobby I've picked up. I'm just like, oh. mm. so I was like, what if I do a hobby a week? Try and master it as much as I can in a week. Because then either I'll get so pissed off that I'll stick at it because I'm bad at it. Or I'm just satisfying the craving for always wanting to do new things. Mm. But am I going to go to a picnic and read a book? No. Mm. Go to a picnic. Go on a picnic. Teddy bear's picnic. Attend my own picnic. Yeah. Wouldn't it be so cool though? Like by the end of each week, I'd be like, oh yeah, I can skateboard now. Now I can crochet. Now I can like do card tricks. Now I can paint. I feel I like I this. feel like you would need to give yourself a month. So I, I, I know that I know that you like you have quite a short like 
like not head you don't have a short attention span but like you go at something hard for a short amount of time <laughs> um That's my Tinder bio. <laughs> I don't think that's a good move. <laughs> You're not going to get the right approaches. <laughs> um, but I feel like you need to give yourself a month because a week to learn skateboarding is not enough. I like the pressure. It'll get me up in the morning. <laughs> Honestly, it will. Because now I'm just like, oh yeah, like I've got no deadlines to do anything. If I, if I want to get up, a month is too long. I say that, but it is Monday and I haven't acquired any new skills just yet. But that's because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. Well, maybe picnicking could be. I don't think picnicking is particularly a skill to have. I mean, it, it can. Yeah, it's it, getting it, you out. If you're hosting, uh, for sure. Maybe by the end of the week you should host a big picnic. I don't think I have enough friends. I think you could find people. But then I'm working at the weekend. But... I think I think for the for the first week I might attack a, a card trick one. Yeah. Are you gonna do any new hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like we're the, we're the actually that is probably where we are most polar opposite from each other. What like you have desires to do things? No, I just like hobbies. But you don't really like hobbies, do you? I get, I'm kind of, I'm very similar to you in the fact that like, I'm similar to you in the fact that I get frustrated when I'm not good at something, but I'm the opposite to you in the fact that when I am not good at something, I will just stop doing it. Whereas you'll keep going. Yeah, because then it annoys me. Oh yeah, but God. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I have, I have, I have one hobby that I have... I, I would personally say pretty much mastered. Singing. Yeah. And that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, but it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> that, that's better than being... A, you, you, I think it's better than being a jack of all trades. You could make a career out of that. What am I going to do by going up to someone and saying, oh yeah, here's my CV, I did a week of skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd have like fucking reams of paper. <laughs> Where the fuck is reams? Isn't it reels? Reams? Reams of paper. Maybe it's a quantity. Like a Google is 100,000 zeros. Is it? Google. <laughs> is it? <laughs> a Google. I just think that I would like... Like, small time hobbies are not my thing. If I was going to go for a hobby, I'd want to like... Drive a train. You're saying rugby's a small time hobby? I wasn't talking about you. Just talking about me. No, but you were talking about hobbies in general. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to like, like, be obsessed with like, I don't know, the life of Anne Boleyn. Just like something that is like, just like really, really intense. If I was really going to go for a hobby. Yeah, that's fair enough. Like niche information, so you could go on to mastermind and win like fuck tons of money. I my hobby is Harry Potter. No, I don't let you do that anymore. No. Maybe I'd do ancient Egypt. Or actually, I would do Greek mythology. Greek, do you know what? I actually do have hobbies. And that is finding things out about Greek mythology. <laughs> I think that's a fucking sick hobby. I can't lie. I love learning. Greek mythology. Learning is a great hobby. Yeah. And I don't mean textbook learning. I mean, just learning shit about life. Just finding stuff out. It's great. Yeah. There's always something new to know. Maybe we should go to a museum. Maybe. Like, we'll, we'll go to like, well, like the science museum where it's like interactive. Science museum is shit. No offense. I went and I was really thoroughly disappointed because at the time that I wanted to go, I said to my mum, all I want to do is ask someone there why when a wheel spins at such a speed, why does it look like it's going backwards? And no one could answer that question for me. They said I was putting my like hand in an exhibit that didn't do anything. Why didn't you look it up? Because I was too young to have a phone. And I wanted the experience of being there and asking a scientist who I now know probably aren't scientists, but yeah, yeah, the exhibits just didn't impress me. But I do want to see the dinosaur. 
a big dinosaur in uh, the history museum. The Natural so history museum. Haven't been there for years. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. See you there.